Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today I'm going to show you how to get the Samsung Gear Fit to work on, well, I can't say any, but a lot of Android devices. Let's just put it that way. I tried it on an HTC One M8 and an M7 and it requires that you download two APKs, which I will link down below for you. Now, obviously you'll have to have a Gear Fit to do this, but to get started here, all you have to do is install the Gear Fit Manager. Like I said, I've linked that down below the APK for the this app because you're going to need it you're not going to be able to get it through the Play Store but once that's installed then we can continue the setup process and hop into the app here as you can see and we are going to set it up with the device all we have to do is tap on the available device there and it will begin pairing the gear fit with the HTC One M8 and like I said your mileage may vary I haven't been able to test this on a lot of devices only an M7 and an M8 so keep that in mind but I will leave everything that you you need down below so be sure to check that out now we have to accept this legal stuff right here so just go ahead and tap on all those check marks and tap on the done button and we are presented with the gear fit manager now so we are all set up here and there's one more thing that we need to install which is the fitness APK that is also linked down below so you have to install that this will track some fitness data for you it's called fitness with gear and again linked down below for you so go ahead and get that installed and then you will be fully functional with the gear fit on another device besides a Samsung Galaxy device which is excellent now of course we can't sign up for a Samsung account here it doesn't let us but it will hopefully track the fitness information for us though I haven't had a lot of chances to try it out yet now as you can see here we have the home screen styler and this will allow us to change the background and stuff in real time we also can change the clock here by switching around through these clocks now keep in mind anything that requires location based data is not going to work because it's relying on Samsung services that are not there so that is a downside but we're kind of doing this bootleg status so keep that in mind now we can activate notifications as well so if you want to activate notifications go into the notification section scroll down to the bottom where you see zero tap on that bar right there and that will prompt us to activate the notifications to turn them on and then we can go ahead and check the box up here and it may look different on your device but the whole concept is pretty much the same and then we can back out of that and we have to tap on that bar once more in order to get all of the apps to show once all of the apps have appeared you can go ahead and select them individually based on which ones you would like to push notifications to the gear fit so that's definitely up to you now keep in mind the only thing I haven't been able to get working are the quick replies for text messages or phone calls if you decide to decline a call as well as the alarms everything else pretty much works and if I've missed something that doesn't work let everybody know down below so we can all keep an eye on this but again I have media controls working I have uh, notifications coming through and much other stuff here with the gear fit I was actually surprised that just side loading the APK did the trick. So maybe Samsung will open this up to other devices here in the future. I really, really hope so. Now, another feature I found that worked here is the Find My Device feature, which will light up your phone's flash and ring as loud as it possibly can in order to help you find your device in case you've lost it and are still within Bluetooth range. Now, again, all of the notifications work, but one thing I did notice is that when I was receiving a notification, if I had received it on a Galaxy device, I would have the option to quick reply to that notification but on this setup I do not have that option the only options that I actually have are the options to delete the notification or show it on the device both of which actually work now deleting it will only delete it on the gear fit but showing it on the device will open up the app associated with the notification so everything works pretty well and I was very surprised like I said I encourage you to try this out with your device if you have a gear fit and let me know the results down below because because this could be something that Samsung is working on. I mean, why would they just allow it to work just this great on pretty much any device? Maybe it's just a coincidence, but I'm a wishful thinker. So hopefully this is rolling out here in the future. I think the Gear Fit is a great device. It's a great fitness band. It's a fitness band uh, smartwatch hybrid. So let me know what you think down below and please leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful as it does help out the channel a lot. Also feel free to subscribe if you're not already for more content like this in the future. 
Thanks again for watching, everybody. This is Dom, and have a great day.